First pitch of the night coming up shortly from City Field. Should be a good one. Phillies and Mets coming up next. Now from just outside the core of the Big Apple, MLB The Show has baseball from City Field in Flushing. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Phillies and the New York Mets. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. Well, and you know these two teams, of course, very familiar with one another. The start of another division series. So you know those two men right there have a huge task in front of them, trying to give their ball club a leg up right here in the opener. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. As their order will read like this. And there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate and we are ready for baseball. Good crowd on hand as the first pitch tonight is taken for ball one. The 1-0. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. 73 degrees our game time temperature here tonight. And it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. No problem here. One away. Four to three on the put out to first. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Hit hard toward the right side. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And this is something they've worked on in the batting cages, batting taking some of the Second movement out of his swing. Chase. Much Utley. more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Chase Utley will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. Ball one. And on cue, here are the National League home run leaders I referred to a moment ago. A 
Oh, he got his fastball that time as this one sent into right center. That's a base hit. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Rafael for call will come on now to replace him as he's into pinch run following the injury. Ryan Howard will stand in, and he's certainly a dangerous man up there, currently second in the National League in RBIs. Back up the middle. The second for one. Back to Duda. A double play, and the inning is over. Your basic 6 4 3 will get him out of danger. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Rafael for call will stay in the ballgame as a new shortstop. Eric Young Jr. will stand in now, and this is certainly a guy that can beat you in a lot of ways. Currently your National League stolen base leader. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. And this ball runs away for ball two, 2-1. Two and one. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Batting second, the shortstop. Ruben Tejada will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And that misses, so that'll put Tejada in the driver's seat 2-0. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Number 19 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. David Wright will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. Yeah, he was hoping for a quick one, two, three to start the night. Now well, he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter coming up. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Mets leave one after one, no score. Marlon Byrd will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. Marlon Byrd. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. A leap, and he crashes into the wall, but managed to hold on to it. Boy, this one deserves another look at show motion. You'll see him here. He's tracking this baseball. Now, go ahead and freeze it. 
<laughs> this is a picture of concentration right there. He knows that once we roll this video, he's gonna get a mouthful of fence. And I'll tell you what, that cannot have felt good. Now here's the first pitch. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And on the first pitch he sees, it's a home run. A solo home run for Dominic Brown. Number 31 for him on the season. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. This is just your classic fastball up over the heart of the plate. I don't even have to do a whole lot of analysis on this one. If you put that pitch there to this guy, he's going to take it over the wall. Simple as that. Carlos Ruiz will stand in now, hoping to turn things around here. You can see just one hit in his past four ball games. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Now a swing and a miss by Ruiz as they jump ahead of him here 0 and 2. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw gets him, two down. You know, you always worry about the pitcher in a situation like this because he's the closest one to the action. So, of course, he has the least amount of time to dodge anything that comes his way but he concentrates well enough to get the baseball and throw the guy out at first. Cody Ashey will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side and that's in there, base hit. Mission accomplished there with two away. You just want to give your pitcher a chance to hit here this inning instead of leading off the next one. He does it with a solid single there. Cliff Lee will be the batter. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. You don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. And this is fouled back and out of play. Lays off two and two now. Boy, that's pretty good patience out there out of a pitcher who's acting like a hitter, especially with two outs. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Now a 
swing and a ground ball back up the middle. Flip will go to Tejada at second, and that'll be that. Phillies get one on the home run by Dominic Brown. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia. Chris Young will start things off in the bottom of the second. Way late on the fastball for strike one. And like most right-handed power guys, he's a good high ball hitter. So, so that's where you're going to want to keep that fastball going forward. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two called. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. And, and he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone and they found one there. Daniel Murphy digs in at the plate. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. And this one's a bit higher as that's in there at the knees for the first strike. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. And therefore it is Utley as that becomes out number two. Boy, he had to go a long way into the outfield to make this play. I kept thinking he was going to get called off, but he must have kept shouting for it. So he stays with it and pulls it in. Lucas Duda will come forward now. Back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. In there, strike one. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to right field. Bird is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the Mets. It remains 1-0. Number 19 will dig in. 0-1 here in this one. Philadelphia. Center fielder. Number 19. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Young is under it as he puts it away, and it's one pitch, one away to start the third. So one away now as that'll bring in the speedster, Raphael, for call. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. The second baseman so bases are empty here with two gone. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. To two balls and two strikes now. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. Neuenheis will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies down in order. They lead it one to nothing. 
Taylor Teagarden makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch in there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing and one. Here's one hit towards for call it short. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Dylan G will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Eric Young Jr. will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. Now with two on, nobody out. You got to be thinking, strikeout double play out there on the mound. But one or the other is what you really need. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. He'll go to the bag for one, throw across to first, won't be in time, so he's aboard on the fielder's choice. That is always a tough decision to make down there at third base. Do I step on the bag and then go to first, or do I just try to go around the horn with it? Here they do get the lead runner, but the throw across the diamond is just too late to make it a 5-3 double play. Ruben Tejada will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And this is going to be a foul ball. See you, man. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. And this is on the ground for Utley. Could be two. Fair-handed for one. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Ryan Howard will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Ryan Howard. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Now, once the sun goes down here, this place plays like a much different ballpark. Case in point right there. That ball had no carry whatsoever. Marlon Bird will try it again. He flew out his first time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. The 0-1 pitch hit on the ground to Tejada at short. 
on to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The left field, number nine. Dominic Brown will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. This now is hit to second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Former cover boy, Dave. And there now is David Wright. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. And here's Lee back to work now as his first pitch is swung on and missed. It's 0-1. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. So a solo shot here for David Wright. Twelve home runs for him now thus far, as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. And about the only silver lining to this one, from a defensive standpoint, is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Now batting, right fielder, Kirk Neuenheis. Kirk Neuenheis is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself, first out. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show as you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. Chris Young will dig in with one in and one away. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change, one and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, he's made five or six quality pitches in this inning, but he just made the one bad one. And you can bet that's the one he's going to remember when he gets back to the dugout. Good job here, though, because he bounced back to retire the next two guys that he faced. Daniel Murphy will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. Lucas Duda will try it again. He flew out his first time. And Lee will open the at bat with a good change up there for strike one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Carlos Ruiz will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Catcher, Carlos Ruiz. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Cody Ashey 
will stand in. A base hit his first time around. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle, and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for the base hit. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with a base hit. Cliff Lee will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Forget it, guys. Double up right here. Two and oh now. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage, but you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go three and oh to him. Cold strike on the change, two and one. Two one pitch is swung on and hit in the air out to center field. Under it is Young, and he takes it for route number two. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Number 19 will stride to the plate. He's 0 for 2 thus far. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And, there he goes. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. On the move again from first. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward fairly deep right center. And Young will make the catch. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Taylor Teagarden will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Uh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw by for Kyle and there's one down. Up next for the Mets, Etcher, Dylan. Dylan G will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Comes back with a fastball, but this one's by him for strike one. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Eric Young Jr. will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning.
Mets go down one, two, three. We played five full, tied at one aside. Rafael Fercal will stand in to lead things Video off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Rafael Fercal. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. 1-0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. And this one finds the corner for strike one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is going to be extra bases here, leading off the sixth. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Oh, and a great way to kick off the inning here. That's going to get the go-ahead run to second base with that double. And you know, even though it's still the sixth, you'd love to find a way to grab that lead right now and hopefully just let your bullpen take it home from here. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. Or for call, that's now 17 two-base hits for the year. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open, but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Young, patrolling center, makes the play one out. The relay, but too late, and he's safe at third. So a double and a fly ball move a man to third now with one away. Now if they could just get another fly ball, it would likely net him a run. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. First pitch coming. And this one will be out of play off to the left. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Now the one-two. Fouled back. Now here's a swing by Howard, and the big fella launches this one out to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. It's a two-run shot here for Ryan Howard. Home run number 47 thus far. And it gives the Phillies a 3-1 to one lead. And all season long, when they needed the big hit, he's been there for them, and he delivers again here in a tight spot. Now, I, I tell you, he has really impressed me the way he swung the bat this year. No doubt about it. 
Marlon Byrd will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. Marlon Byrd, a solo home run. 34 home runs now on the year. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's 4-1. to one. Well, this place just hasn't stopped buzzing from the last home run. Now, all of a sudden, one pitch later, you're watching another guy take a trot around the bases. That just shows you, you can't take any pitches off in this game. Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. Carlos Torres is on and he'll take over on the mound. Number 52, Carlos Torres. Dominic Brown will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. hit ball back up the middle and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Carlos Ruiz will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First offering on the way. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. and And this is a guy that needs to throw that curveball for strikes. Yeah, when he doesn't have command on it, that's when he has to lean on his fastball. And sometimes that'll get him in trouble. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. And this is going to get by right down the line. It's a fair ball. Well, for a relief pitcher, he hasn't given him a whole lot of relief. That's back-to-back -back singles now since he showed up, and he's in a peck of trouble now. Cody Ashey will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Look at this. Tejada for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Oh, what a great effort right there just to get an out on this play. You see him lay out to get the ball, then make a good flip to the bag to get the force at second. Wow, that's nicely done. Cliff Lee will stand in. The eighth batter in the inning as he'll get a shot with two on and two out. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And Neuenheis will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies four and the Mets one. Ruben Tejada will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a Leading double play in two trips. Nice oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. 
But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Well, maybe not a terrible idea to drop one down, but I'll tell you what, when you've got a pitcher out there looking for a shutdown inning, the last thing you want to do is make an out on the very first pitch. That's what he gets. One away now for the Mets in the sixth, and stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. And he takes ball one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Nothing inside here, at least not to start the at-bat, and I imagine that's by design. Yeah, they'll give him right field. They just don't want him to turn on something. The 2-2 now from Lee. Line hard into left. Brown is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Kirk Neuenheis will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. And this is still a 4-1 ball. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. John Lennon is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Number 19 will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Austin Jackson is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Austin Jackson. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Therefore, it is Young, and he's got it for the first out. The shortstop, number 15, Rafael for call. Rafael for call will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first, two gone. As a manager, you love your relievers to come in and give you plenty of strikeouts. But I'll tell you what, there isn't a manager alive that'll get upset when you come in and get two outs on three pitches. Chase Utley is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. And this is fouled back and out of play. And now a rocket into right field. Really squared that one up perfectly. It's a base hit. And you're going to see the location of this pitch on show track. It's actually in a great spot, a couple inches off that inside corner. Normally, you'd think all a guy could do is chop that and foul it, but he gets those hands through very quickly, and he just yanks it. Ryan Howard will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Austin Jackson will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number 17, 
Austin Jackson. Chris Young will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Chris Young. A swing and a ball hit back up the box. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Daniel Murphy will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Just a good job of going with the pitch there. You see it's on the outside part of the plate. And with the bases empty, that third baseman's a good 15 to 20 feet off the line. So this is not much more than a routine ground ball, but he's got no shot of getting to it. Lucas Duda will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. For call. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. That's a very alert play right here behind the plate. Take a look at how quickly he gets out of the crouch and then pounces all over this ball. And now he's thinking second all the way, and he winds up getting that lead runner. Taylor Teagarden will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. In there, 0-1. And, and you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets strand one. They trail it 4-1. to one. Marlon Bird will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Neuenheis is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Well, this ball seemed like it stayed in the air a long time, but he had a long way to go to get to it. And look at this catch he makes when he finally gets there. A one-handed grab with his back to the infield. That was really well done. Dominic Brown will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Young will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Carlos Ruiz will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Cody Ashy will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. And he gets ahead 0-1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Now here's a ball hit high and deep out to left center field. Young retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Juan Ligaris will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 12. First pitch coming. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Now well, the guy you see right there has been terrific. But will they let him work these final two innings? 
Well, I think the pitch count is in his favor. Everybody pays a lot of attention to that. So barring a huge spike right here in the eighth, I don't see any reason why he can't get these final six outs. Eric Young Jr. will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Man, he can flat out fly. I mean, once this thing got down, you figure if this is it's a base hit. That's almost too easy there. On the ground for for call. This could be two. Utley for one. Back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. David Wright will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. 1-0. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. A two-run homer for David Wright. His second home run of the game as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Well, when you start relying on one pitch out there and you become a one-pitch pitcher, there's no doubt in the hitter's mind what's coming. He's sitting on this one all the way and he launches it right over the wall. Kirk Neuenheis will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up, and I mean way up there on the left side of the infield. And Ashey will make the catch to retire the side. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. On to the ninth inning from City Field. It's the Phillies four and the Mets three. Bartolo Colon will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. John Mayberry will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. He won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. Young is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. One thing about playing in this ballpark. There's an awful lot of room out there in right center, so you know, he uses a quick jump and a good late burst to flag this one down. Austin Jackson will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. These have both been easy takes so far. Neither one of these pitches really approaching the strike zone. On the ground for Tejada. On to first, and Jackson's retired. Two away now. Boy, and on 2-0, and 
If that pitch isn't right where you want it, you've got to let it go. You still have the count in your favor at 2-1. and one. Here he goes after a pitch that, although it was a strike, that's a pitcher's strike. That's not the pitch you want to hit. And all he can do is hit an easy grounder. Rafael Fercal will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Fastball too high to start him out here. 1-0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Young is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Al Albuquerque will come on now trying to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Al Albuquerque. Chris Young will stand in and they've been able to hold him in check so far over three to this point yeah it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one usually a major force in their offense uh, and he couldn't hold back that time they say he went around at strike one that's on the inside corner to put him behind here nothing in tune down 0-2 after two great sliders he's got his work cut out for him now Howard is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. And with him in there trying to preserve a one-run lead, the first thing he wants to do, don't let that leadoff hitter get on base to start the inning. That's a nice way to approach him. Now he's just two outs away from wrapping this one up. Antonio Bastardo will come on here hoping to get the final two outs and pick up the save. Number 59. Antonio Daniel Murphy comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control. 0-2. And this ball will be chopped foul. One out, nobody on. And he struck him out. And this bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team effort on the mound so far. Lucas Duda will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 1-1. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And don't change the channel yet as extra bases are going to put the time run in scoring position. And he is in at third base with a two-out triple. And more importantly, represents the possible tying run. Well, it's not a game-tying home run, but it's the next best thing. As down by one, he makes it all the way to third here with a triple. Steven Pierce will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Omar Quintanilla will come on now and pinch run here. Number zero, Omar. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Mike Adams is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 37, Mike Adams. Now 
outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Runners left in scoring position. One of the big keys to this ball game so far. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first. He'll take care of him. And the Phillies have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Another good win for these guys, and they're playing some confident baseball out there right now. That's their fourth win in a row. So they've got things firing on all cylinders. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And the Phillies offensively here tonight were led by the exploits of this man, Ryan Howard. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our, our top player of the game. I type analog. I use analog because um, I'm more comfortable with it. Um, it's mainly because of my uh, use, of my play in 2K. Um, I've done a lot of changing and playing with 2K, so. It's just more comfortable with me for uh, to use analog pitching. So that's generally why I use the analog pitching. So I hope that explains that to you, Yankees. Um, so, but generally I only broadcast one game at a time. Um, I am actually going out to lunch right now, but I just wanted to answer your question. Um, you just basically just got to time it right. Um, and it's a lot of a lot of practice, but like I said, because of all my play with 2K between these games and stuff, I've basically always gotten both versions, so I'm just used to using the analog stick when I do my pitching, but I don't do it with my pitching. I am hitting. I only I still use the buttons for hitting because I enjoy that more. Um, I have tried that out before, and I've also tried using the move controllers, and I don't enjoy that that much. So, hope that answers your question. Thanks for watching. Um, and until then, this is David B. 1969 on Twitch and David B. 69 on YouTube. I'm out.